This isn't London or Barcelona or even Seattle. This is Cincinnati, Ohio, the American Midwest city that caught lightning in a bottle and are riding it all the way to MLS. Soccer is not the first thing that comes to mind when you think about Cincinnati, if you think about Cincinnati at all. But the city that puts shredded cheese on spaghetti sauce and calls it chili has been outpacing some of America's biggest cities and putting other second division teams around the world to shame in a phenomenon the United States has never seen before. FCC played its inaugural season in 2016 and is in just its second year. But in that time, its fans have set countless attendance records, including the largest crowd to witness a soccer match in the state of Ohio and the largest crowd to watch a non-final U.S. Open Cup match thanks to a magical run to the semifinals in this summer's tournament and the largest single crowd in USL history. Their average attendance for the 2017 regular season is better than all but six MLS teams and the 2016 averages for 16 of the 24 English Championship teams, all of Serie B, and all of the Spanish Second Division. Not bad for a team that's just two years old and has one of Major League Soccer's original franchises, Columbus Crew, two hours down the road. So how did this happen? No one really knows why. I don't know really what it is. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on it exactly. We can't even figure it out, but people just keep showing up. As if on a two year long roller coaster ride, fans and players alike have been swept up in the excitement. Yeah, how long have you been with the club? Second year, so I've been here since, uh, Day one. Since day um, one. So it, it's, it's turned into something that none of us thought it could turn into, but uh, something pretty incredible. It's been absolutely unreal. The, the amount of people that have come out for our games. Um, I never expected it to get quite this big. I mean, I was thinking the lower bowl of Denver was going to be, you know, um, that's amazing. We filled up the lower bowl. Now it's the upper, the upper uh, portion getting filled, all of our club seats being sold out for the year. It, it's crazy. One of the things when FCC first launched, um, we had a lot of names thrown our way, plastic being one of them. And there was this whole push that everything we needed to do needed to be organic. And it really came down to, we're growing this thing from nothing, so literally anything that we do is organic because it's Cincinnati soccer and we're making this as we go. Cincinnati had all the ingredients all along a thriving youth soccer scene, an intensely prideful city ethos, and an ambitious professional approach to a lower division team. So that when it all mixed together, like the city's famous chili, it just worked. Cincinnati's endgame, like many lower-level teams in the U.S., is to earn entry into Major League Soccer. But because America operates in a closed league system, the only opportunity to play in the country's top level is to earn entry via expansion. There are currently four highly coveted expansion bids up for grabs, with 12 teams vying for them. And Cincinnati's brand of the world's game dipped in heartland pride and enthusiasm is a shoe-in. What is happening in Cincinnati is remarkable. Their stadium renditions have been fabulous, and, and I think that Cincinnati has done an awesome job, and I'm very impressed with what they put together. But as Cincinnati nears its end game of MLS, it's really just beginning. And no matter what happens, the fans that are here now appear to be in it for the long haul. Like, we don't know where this is going to go. We don't know what the future lies, like holds for us. So for us, it's like, these are the good old days. Enjoy them. We don't know where we're going to end up, so every game, you know, every season probably going forward, it's going to be that mentality of, let's enjoy what we have, and if we keep rising the way we are, then cool, but if not, like, it's been a good ride, and we'll still be here. We get to build this, and it's fun. These are professional uh, soccer players. These are men getting paid to play a child's sport. At the end of the day, it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience, so, like, drink a beer and have fun with it.